Uh, you know, this actually came from a lot of my friends that are going through like rough relationship problems. And so this is a, uh, a poem I, I wrote for them. It's called The Prestige. If you've ever seen the movie The Prestige, then, um, then there's hints of it in here, I guess. I knew a sailor once that got tangled in the rigging underwater. We pulled him out, but it took him five minutes to cough. He said it was like going home. One, anyone who's ever used the term I love like a tidal wave has never compared the collapsed chest cavity of a human being to a sheet metal shack in the shadow of a 30-foot wall of water. This is not as flattering as you might think. Prayer is used most during the intro of a disaster. Why is it we do not pray when we see a lover swinging the gavel down on our own heart? It's as if even God dares not touch this type of wreckage. Two, in Greek mythology, Narcissus was beautiful. A tsunami on a deserted land, beautiful. He found a lake, brave enough to mirror his image back to him. He died there, so enamored, so full of a ripple as grave as perhaps the first time that love and water conspired to eat its own young. Three, when I was 12 years old, I witnessed a girl running around a day camp pool. When she tripped and fell face first into the chlorine bed, I pulled her from the water. She would later thank me by stalking me for the next four years. Four. One of my childhood friends used to tell us that you cannot get a girl pregnant while having sex underwater. You never heard that myth before? Right, right. So, all eyes were on Cherie when he brought her to the pool party. By midnight, Cherie was tired, drenched, and very pregnant. A year later, when my friend stopped holding her hand in public, Cherie decided to test the gravity of her curling iron while sitting in a full bathtub. Five. If I love like a tidal wave, does that mean I get to blame the moon when I pull your breaking heart from your chest? Six, I was afraid of the water and couldn't swim until the summer my year-long girlfriend cheated on me. I learned to love the deep end of all things. Seven, I once told you a story about a sailor that almost drowned and said it was like going home. I lied. He said it was agony. Eight, I see you some days. Barefoot, tracing angels along the shoreline with your toes. You want to believe the rumors that the ocean is actually smaller than you think, that there is something that looks exactly like your love on a land past this vastness of blue, and if you would only dive into it, someone will meet you in the middle. If finding a perfect love sounds a lot like being lost at sea, the tsunamis are no more than the webbing of blood in our chest. How can we not think the heart is a natural disaster? Nine, Andrea Yates, afraid of psychotic episodes that finally scared her husband away, drowns all five of their children in the bathtub. Ten, ever since an angry God took the form of water over the state of Louisiana in 2005, you have a better chance of winning the lottery than meeting a four-year-old girl named Katrina. This is how we love. Inside of bodies that are two-thirds water, we are messy and clumsy. With our organs, we spill so easy like pouring one glass of water into another. We are lakes that would rather be oceans, oceans that would rather be continents, but we're still lakes and we spill into one another yet we think the ocean's unaware of our lonely submission means the most fluid of suffocation yet we keep trying to swim through the abyss because we hope our heads are still above water when we reach the other side 